Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to steal color grading from one image and apply it to another using Affinity Photo. The final result will look something like this. So let's get started. First, I'll open this cloud image in Affinity Photo. For this tutorial, we need the swatches and layers tabs. I'll open both of them. Next, we need to capture the colors from the image we want to use for color grading. To do this, go to the Swatches tab and click on the menu icon in the upper right corner. From the menu, select Create Palette from Image. In the new window, click on Select Image and choose the image from your file explorer. I'll select this pink cloud image. Here you can see five colors from the image have been extracted. You can also increase or decrease the number of colors. For this image, five colors are enough. After adjusting the number of colors, click on the Preview button to see which colors have been selected. Then, click on Create to generate a new color palette with these colors. I'll increase the size of these preview color squares. Now arrange these colors from darker to lighter. This will be useful later. Next, we'll apply these colors to our image. For this, we'll use a gradient map adjustment. After adding it, we'll replace the default colors in the gradient map with the colors from our imported swatches. The color on the left side will affect the darker areas and the color on the right side will affect the lighter areas in the image. Now add five colors to the gradient map and position them at 0%, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100% respectively. Then change the colors using the swatch. Now the colors are applied to the image. The last thing to do is to change the blend mode of this gradient map adjustment to refine the effect. For this image, I'll change the blend mode to hard light. You can experiment with other blend modes such as overlay or soft light to achieve different results. Finally, I'll reduce, reduce the opacity of the gradient map adjustment to around 75%. To enhance the look, I'll add a shadow and highlight adjustment. And voila, we did it. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future content. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. See you in the next video.